a month all the way up to 900 950 we just closed a luxury one that was around that you know million aid and purchase price and it was that sort of HOA dues which is a lot of money we all get that but that's why somebody needs an expert like you true that's why people need to tap you to help them know when you're looking at when you're looking at Zillow and all the rest of these things you don't know when you're looking at all those realtor.com whatever you don't know what you're looking at in terms of what the HOA fee is, number one, number two, what a lot of misinformation out there. And so that's why people need to get a hold of you directly. And you can reach you can reach George at, at CraigSewing.com. That's Craig Sewing like the sewing machine dot com. Just send him a message and we'll get the message over to him and we'll get and we'll get him um, he'll get back to you and, and help you with what's going on in the downtown market. Appreciate that. What's happening in the fifty six corridor? So fifty six corridor average price is around a million to the median price around nine sixty nine for a wow. detached home. I wow. know within the last Intra couple level, huh? <laughs> let's buy two. <laughs> within the last couple months, you know the highest sold price is six point four five million. So a lot of money wow. for a ninety two hundred square foot house, kind of by the Grand Del Mar in that area. Okay. Um, and then right east of there is Penasquitos, which right. is more affordable. It's about the six hundred fifty thousand dollar range going up to a little bit under a million. And Penasquitos is upcoming. Yeah. It, it has really is. Poway Unified School Districts. Good um, yeah, and people like it. Nice layout, very good schools, and a lot of newer homes, tile roof, newer inventory. We talked about one of the yeah. things that one of the things that we've talked about is the fact that there's forty five billion dollars a month mm -hmm. that's not being that not being spent on bonds mm -hmm. and mortgage backed securities. And it's got to have an effect on interest rates. In other words, interest rates have got to go up. Mm -hmm. As interest rates go up, again, we're going to have another affordability issue mm -hmm. because prices keep going up, yeah. and for and median income, you know, is incomes themselves are actually kind of trailing off. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we noted not too long ago, and we didn't on this show, but we've noted one. So what I've seen is I see all the average prices going up, but interestingly enough, Mike, I don't see the actual that exact house or condominium selling for higher than what it did a year ago. Right. So I, I see a flat so real kind of pricing. Flattening out. Okay. Yeah, and I see a lessening of, of course, all the foreclosure and distress, very small percentage. So lowest, lowest of eight years, right? Yeah, and, and so that, when you look at it, even though the average may be ticking up, depending on the neighborhood, six to seven percent, I don't see that in a real appreciation. So why I wanted to say that was, there's more selection. It's gone from about 6,600 homes countywide to almost 10,000 right now. So a lot of selection. Prices are flat from a year ago. The rates, I think most of us believe within the next year, are headed up. Yeah. And so between choice and affordability, it's a good time if it works for you to buy sooner rather than later. Great. Great price, or if you're considering buying, uh, you still have a lot of selection in those low interest rates that we talked about in the last segment. So it's a good time, like we talked good about time. last segment, to, to get Absolutely. in and, and get in now. Yep. Yeah.